Hello and welcome to Learning Express Web Application Development video tutorial. During this video, we'll get Node.js and its dependencies installed on your computer. Express.js is a small and flexible tool for building websites completely with JavaScript. In order to use it, we need to first install Node.js and the package manager npm. Once we have the tools installed, most of the information in this course will be the same no matter what OS you use. However, the first step of installing Node.js does depend on your OS. The good news is, no matter if you use Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, the installation is easy. So we'll cover all three options quickly in this video segment. If you're a Windows user, the best step is to go straight to the Node.js.org website, and right on the homepage, click the Install button to download the Windows Installer MSI file. Once the download completes, simply open the installer and follow the instructions. Mac users have a few choices. You can always install the same way as the Windows user did. However, a better long-term solution is to use Homebrew. Before you can install Homebrew, you first have to install the Apple developer tools. To do this, open the terminal app and type this command, xcode-select-install. A nice user interface pops up to help you install the tools. Once installed, use your web browser to visit brew.sh and scroll to the bottom to see the installation instructions. There you will find one long command that you need to run to do the installation. Copy and paste that into your terminal. It will explain what it's doing and walk you through the steps. Once complete, installing Node.js is as easy as typing brew install node. There are many versions of Linux, and all of the popular ones support Node.js just fine. As a matter of fact, if you're using Ubuntu 13.10 or newer, you can simply install Node.js from your package manager and have a reasonably up-to-date version. However, even if you're using a newer OS with Node.js available via the package manager, I suggest instead visiting the Node.js.org website clicking the Downloads link, then scrolling down and clicking Installing from Package Managers to see a list of instructions specific to each version of Linux. Because each version differs a little bit, I won't go through each of them. I'll trust you to figure it out. Once the installation is done, let's confirm that Node.js is installed correctly. From your terminal, type the command node-version. You should see the version number listed. Now that you have Node.js installed, you also have the NPM Package Manager installed. This tool makes it easy to install supporting tools for your Node.js apps. We're going to start out by installing Express.js, but first you need to understand there are two ways to install a package. The most common way to install a package is for just one project. However, we want Express.js to be available for all projects, so we need to do a global install. Furthermore, we're not going to actually install Express.js globally. We're going to install the Express.js generator. This is a simple application that will create new projects and set them up to use Express.js. So open your terminal and type npm install g express generator. We're using the dash g so that the package manager will be installed globally, which means computer wide. You can check that Express was installed properly by typing the command express dash dash version. If you see a version number printed, it was successful. Unless you received errors along the way, we now have Node.js and Express.js installed, as well as the package manager npm. Keep watching, and we'll learn how to use it. 